Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, last class we have discussed about the arrays concept of TypeScript, uh, but we have discussed only uh, a very basic type of array. And in this video, let's understand how to create an array of uh, custom type. Okay, so here I use the same file which we have discussed in the last class. Uh, here I'm going to take an array of employees. Okay, so let me declare a type. So let's say objects array. So till now we discussed a string array, now objects array. So let me declare the uh, object type. So let's say interface uh, employee. Okay. So employee contains uh, uh, some type like employee contains the serial number of type string, name of type string, and uh, age of type string. Uh, what else? Designation. Designation of type string and uh, uh, is active or let's say location is going to be the string. Sorry. String. Okay, so I have defined the type of it and let me create the actual. Uh, array so let's say let employees of type employee array is equal to an array so which will take the each object will be an employee object so you have to satisfy all this properties types in this object okay because you have declared an employee type of array okay see simple if you declare a string type you need to have only string values if you declare employee type so you need to have every object is a employee okay so let's say the serial number something called a a one zero two zero one comma name uh, something called rajan h some uh, 25 oh age must be a number sorry so 25 and uh, what else designation is gonna be the software engineer and the location location will be the bangalore okay so uh, one object let's make multiple objects another one so zero two this guy is mahesh uh, 28 years and senior software engineer comma one more uh, some names doesn't matter john uh, 45 years this guy is a project manager okay and one more let's say four this guy is Wilson uh, Wilson 48 years and this guy is a director okay fine so I have taken an array which contains a four elements okay so if you're gonna print it let's say simply console.log of employees you get all the employees in the console log okay now here we have to understand a few more examples what is that is mm, i don't want to print the whole array i want to iterate the array and based on that uh, conditionally i want to get another array for example i want to fetch only the junior employees from the array i want to get only the senior employees from the array okay that way so first uh, we have to make junior employees from array how to pick up junior employees actually first of all what is meant by the junior employees uh, whose employee age is around uh, okay less than 30 uh, his junior okay so two junior two senior okay so how can i get that is you have to write a condition based on age so first you have to loop through the array and based on the age you have to uh, you know keep a separation of junior or senior so how i do actually you can use for a loop for in loop normal for loop anything or else you can use also a uh, filter function of arrays concept so let me tell you both the ways first we'll see without using any uh, filter function or uh, let me just loop through manually and uh, show you for example so let's uh, junior 
employees of type employee array okay is equal to just empty array as employee array so i have declared an empty array of type employee array because ultimately junior employees also you get an array of employees right so loop through so for latch uh, i can just say for off loop employee of employees okay so you get the every employee and i'm going to check the condition if employee if employee are yaar sorry employee dot h is less than or equal to uh, 30 okay whose age is less than or equal to 30 he will be the junior employee so whose age is less than so i need to add that to my junior employees that's it so let's say now console dot log of junior employees you just push them to the the sari so now let's check so run the program um so you got only two elements rajan and mahesh so these two junior employees but here we have not used any filter function of arrays concept but still you can use a filter function actually so let me tell you uh, using filter function how can you get the same amount of uh, uh, logic i mean how can you achieve the same amount of logic so let's say using filter function so i say direct statement let jr employees of type employee array is equal to all employees dot filter okay so you're going to write a shortcut you may write a, a function with uh, each employee or else you can use the uh what you can use the arrow function here you will iterate through each employee you have to write the condition so return uh, employee dot h is less than or equal to 30 that's it so it going to check the condition if the condition matches that employee will be pushed directly to this array so you going to get console dot log of junior employees is a different variable okay jr employees so now check if i run the program you get the same result see arjun sorry rajan and mahesh here also we got rajan and mahesh previously same data okay so this is like pretty easy and even moreover you can even shortcut this uh, if you have a parameter single you don't need to write the parentheses okay and even you don't need to write a written statement you can just use a straight forward like this so this is the simplest format when compared to this thing okay so still you get this so let me go here run the program so you get see the same results okay so mostly we have to use the filter function map function uh, reduce function and lot more functions we're going to use it in the uh, coming of uh, type script examples right so that's all about uh, arrays concept i guess okay so fine so that's it and for today's class and uh, so next video we're going to see the functions so how to create the functions and what are the various types of functions we can make in type script okay so let's meet in the next video thank you mm -hmm.